so this is the last day of the flood. Uh, we came to see how our forest, forest is looking. From tomorrow the volume will start dropping, so this is more or less the, the peak amount of water that we'll see in our forest this, this spring. And it's really beautiful. So this is quite a typical sight that uh, during floods the snails, as, as the water rises up, they, they come up and wait on the trees. And uh, yeah, we have some old pictures from the 50s where you have, you know, a trunk just, just covered with snails. Uh -huh. In the same forest? In the same forest, in this area, yes. And this is the e extra careful snail that wants to make extra sure that he doesn't get his <laughs> feet wet. <laughs> Lukas decided to try and dig a small channel and see if the water can flood that area behind him where you can see the reed. So we'll see. Uh, the TMR uh, map showed that the elevation is lower there, so maybe, yeah, maybe just digging a few meters will, will bring some water in that area as well. What we are doing now is uh, checking uh, where ends the, the flood so we can we can then compare the, the, the maps from these digital models with the reality and see how far the water gets in this whole area. So now we are like on the peak of the, of the, of the flat. So we see when there are like some, some, block, uh, some, some blockades or something uh, which uh, don't allow the water to, to continue to some, to some place where, where, where it can reach. So now we are just see or like makes all the points where we can see where we are and how high we are so we can we see how the water drops because the water is not still like uh the water is not on this like on in whole area the water is not in the same level because it's like still going down some of the water just get into the soil so it's uh disappearing let's say and so now we can make all the points around and see if the water reach all the area which which could and if not then next year we can dig some more channels and connect these areas <laughs>